Is it like a weird clothes horse or something? Well, hello. <laughs> chick with a titty out what is going on the lock has nothing to fear from me is that, is that... <laughs> <laughs> you know, i need a boat with you. oh oh you jason grizzle are accused of the crime of vagrancy what daggerfall baby hello everyone how's it going welcome back to well daggerfall Right, so first of all, and this is very important, thank you so much for the overwhelming support on the first episode. I genuinely do mean this. I could, it blew me away. I, I, quite often this happens when I make a video and I'm like, eh, I just feel like making a video on this. I don't think that many people will watch it, but it's a thing I want to make a video about. And then it usually blows up. It's kind of crazy. I, I never know what people like. So thank you, genuinely. I could make the best video in the world, but if you people, you people, <laughs> but if people don't comment, subscribe, like, etc., then no one's going to see it outside of the first few people so the people that actually support the videos when they go live and even now after the fact you are the guys that make those videos get views in the future so without you i couldn't do this so thank you so much if you watched the video if you liked the video if you commented any of the above i could not do this without you so thank you so much that video hitting the recommended list was entirely because of you not because of me so thank you now I also got a bunch of comments uh, mentioning that there is a Unity remake of Daggerfall. I did look at a tiny bit of gameplay of it. It does look interesting. It looks very good and very faithful. However, I feel like the reason people watched my first Daggerfall video is because it's the original Daggerfall. It's the same reason that when I played Skyrim, I because it uh, not Skyrim, Morrowind. How do you get those two confused? It's the same reason that when I first played Morrowind, I didn't really add many mods at all. It was really just stuff to make it not quite so visually jank mostly for example i didn't mess around with mods that add accuracy and new features and stuff like that because i wanted as authentic of an experience as i could get which is the same reason i'm playing this and not the unity version now that doesn't mean we won't check out the unity version but the reason i played this in the first place and made a video on it is because it's 26 years old so the unity version does look great like i say we'll probably check it out at some point but I I want as much of the vanilla experience as I can get. So for now, we are sticking with this. Also, before I forget, there is an info button right here, <laughs> which you can use to unsurprisingly get info. So this is how you know what's good and what's not. I'm still not entirely sure what these numbers mean, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. So I did look at this, and our best weapons are this, 0 to 10 points of damage, and the Elven Short Sword, which I think I have equipped. Yeah, I think I have it equipped, which is also 0 to 10 points of damage. Right, so if we press W, we can bring up the world map. Now, when we got out of here, there was a pop-up on the screen that was like, you should go to a town. And of course, I want to go to a town. I'm actually very interested to see how NPCs and quests and things like that are handled. We've got a button here that says I'm at. Ah, okay, very useful. I like it. Yes, okay, so it looks like we can toggle them off. So I can toggle the dungeons off, I can toggle the homes off, I can toggle the temples off. It's, there's that many towns? <laughs> really? That's insane! Let's go to the Fox and Gnome pub, I guess. We are fast traveling. You are entering the Fox and Gnome pub. Delightful. I've turned the volume down because the music was very loud. Dude, the music's so good! Alright, I'm going to put my weapon away because I know the way it works in Oblivion and Morrowind and I... I don't think it's in Skyrim, but it's definitely in those games, so it's probably in this. If you have a weapon out in an NPC's face, they take it as hostility, pretty much. A jolly voice says, welcome to my home. Okay. Which door did we come in? <laughs> I'm guessing that one. So we're not breaking in, which is a good start. What is this that I'm looking at? I mean, it's wood, but like, what is it? Is it like a weird clothes horse or something? Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a chick with a titty out? What is going on? Uh, oh, hey. I didn't mean to click on you. I was just trying to click past you. Okay. Hello. Um, phone. Polite. I want to be polite because she's hot. Does she not? Goodbye. <laughs> I don't think... That... Yeah, that's... she's just got a tit out. Um, <laughs> there's a piano. What is going on? <laughs> See, this, this, this is why I wanted to play a 26-year-old video game. And it did come out in 996, I checked. Right, hold on. How do, we, how do we actually talk to you? Because 
I don't understand. Oh, okay. Oh, I click on the OK button. All right. Greetings, good stranger. I need to find any Temple of Akatosh. I think they have one in Horridge. Are you from Horridge? No, that's rude. That's rude. All right, how do we go backwards? I guess we just click goodbye and try again. Okay, locations. Oh, I see. Okay. So I was on I was on locations. I thought I was on where is, which I suppose would be locations, wouldn't it? Where is work? I need to know about opportunities for profit. Yeah, let's ask that, yeah. I don't know what it pays, but Uthane Master Wing has something to do over at the Baton Dragon. Is that in this town? Thank you, chick with a titty hanging out. Appreciate it. All right, you look like guards. You look like a hot guard. Actually, you look like a hot nurse. Hello there. Are you a streetwalker? There's too many Y's and S's. Garfield. This is Garfield the cat. Howdy, stranger. Uh, work. Let's ask her about work. Okay, same thing about the Bat and Dragon. Let's ask about regional. No, let's not. Let's ask about people. Awfully close by, it'd be best if I mark the Bat and Dragon on your map. Yo! Thank you, appreciate it. I like her mouth just being gaped open. Well, I, she actually had animation for that. Hello. Oh, hey. What I do for you, stranger? They're probably all going to say basically the same thing, I would imagine, but let's double check. Oh, no, he didn't. Gondane Greenfield might have work. Wasn't the other, that chick called Greenfield? You can find him in the Lucky Stag. Do you know... Locations, taverns. Can I ask about the Lucky Stag? That's right here. You can see the Lucky Stag on your map. Yo! Oh my god, I actually figured out how to open the map. Well, it's the M key, as you would expect. Oh no. Oh, I opened a text box. <laughs> what does that do? Right. Is this me here, the yellow dot? Maybe. Why are both of the... Right? I don't understand. Which one's the bat and dragon? Are they, are they both the bat and dragon? I don't know. Let's just go in a house and I'm sure we'll find it. Are you the same chick as before? You look very similar. I... No? No? I don't know. You look so much alike. Maybe they're sisters. That's hot. Let's, let's go in here. Look, there's nothing to... F what? The lock has nothing to fear from me. Is that... Is that... <laughs> you know, I need a moment. Does that mean I can lockpick this? Is that what you're telling me? I would imagine I need an actual lockpick. Like items to pick locks you're in the fox and gnome pub no i'm not it is 1537 i think that's a seven on turtles okay yeah yeah right can i beat up the door let's save first and see if we can just attack the door you never know i doubt it but you never know yeah. oh i think you can it sounds like i'm hitting it right oh That actually worked. Am I in trouble now? <laughs> I feel like I might put, put the weapon away. Put the weapon away. We're breaking and entering, baby. I think. Let's see if anyone's around here. I'll never know. Like that thief that snuck up on me. Yo, I love the 2D barrel. Very nice. Alright, doesn't look like we can do anything with that. What? What? Okay, doesn't seem to be a lot going on in this house. I must confess. I think we broke in for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> can I use the bed, maybe? Oh, God. No, it doesn't look like we can. Okay. Well, we, we broke into an empty house. <laughs> How dramatic. Well, let's hope we got away with it. Guess we'll find out if a guard runs up on me. I can't remember what button I pressed that was like, you know, you are a common citizen, you are not in trouble with the law. I'm going to head over here because these buildings have signs. Basically, everyone that I've been speaking to just says, like, go to the Lucky Stag, like, for example. Or the Bat and Dragon, yeah, one of those two. I like her dress, it's very colourful. Yeah. Can I read the sign, by the way? I mean, like, I'm too far away. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what? To hell with the sign. <laughs> to hell with the sign. Uh... Okay. What if I press M? Does it tell me the name of the building? It doesn't look like it. 
Well, hello. Uh, taverns. I guess if we... Apparently there's also the Crimson Ogre. Good day, mate. I need to find the Crimson Ogre. I wish I could help you, Jason, but I know nothing about that. What about the Baron Dragon? Of course I'll help you. Just go that way, southwest. What about the Lucky Stag? Simple. You'll find it. You'll find it. The Lucky Stag is south of here. Well, where am I then? If this is not the Baton Dragon, the Lucky Stag, or the Ogre, where am I? And why is there music? Is this a brothel? I'm not judging a book by its cover, but I mean, you've got your legs seductively poking out at me. Like, I feel like you may be a lady of the night, but during the day. This is the tiny... Is this a closet or something? What's going on here? What is What is this room? I feel like I've just entered the, the friggin' nether realm. Yeah, I think this is an inn of some description. There's a jester. <laughs> it's like an eclectic mix of ruffians right here. This guy looks like he wants to beat the crap out of me. This guy looks absolutely insane. This dude looks like a monster. And I don't know what the hell you are. What? Are you a milkmaid? This is a milkmaid. You know, you got any work? Bad dragon. They're all just going to say the same thing. Okay, I guess she doesn't know anything about people. Maybe if we know, like, a topic about we can be like, Do you know anything about this fella? Oh my god, that's like his head on the thing. You are terrifying. This, this is his nana copper ring. Okay, same thing. Alright, it seems like they're all going to be about the same. Gondai, Gond, Gondain Greenfield asked me to look for people like you. Go find him at the Lucky Snake. Okay, I, do, I don't know where we are. I don't know what this place is. Maybe... Certain people will have topics here we can click on, but it seems like none of these guys do. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're still in the learning process. My head's actually stuck on the sign. <laughs> I feel like this is the lucky stag. It's the same music. The same crazy looking... Actually, it's different crazy looking people. Hi, I'm... Hey, we found it! My god, that's a crabber. Hi, I'm Uthane Masterwing. I need someone to drop off an item for me. It's a just a sh it's a just a short trip across town, but I'm too busy right now. There's 45 gold in it for you. I think I only have like 100 gold, so that sounds pretty enticing. Take it to Dunyanak Gearhouse here in town. He will pay you. It needs to be there by this time tomorrow. This is a special short shirt. <laughs> a short shirt that my mother made for him. For the celebration. What celebration are you talking about? Well, you know what? Let's go deliver it now, because we've got until tomorrow, and it'll probably take me that long to navigate my way uh, around, you know, with these controls. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to ask this guy about Dunyanak. You asked the right person. Just look for it that way. West. Do we have a compass? Oh, we do. Okay. So west is... <laughs> that way. <laughs> Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, you can tell he lives in this fancy house. Buying a short shirt, you know he's got money. Long shirts are for peasants. Oh yeah, this guy's minted. Look at this furniture. He's balling out of control. Okay, so this is kind of the problem I suspected. This man ain't in his house. Uh, well, actually, no, to be fair, we don't know this is his house. But if it is, he's not in here. Come. It's probably just like every other Elder Scrolls game, where during the day they're just wandering around outside like lunatics. So... We bring up the map. The Gearhouse Residence. Which which one is the Gearhouse Residence? <laughs> I don't I don't know what this is marking. Possibly this? Which I think is the one I was just at. So let's try resting. Let me save it first though. Because we are on a time limit, as he mentioned. Is it illegal to camp in or near a city? You suck. I guess we'll have to pay for a tent. What should cost me, like, more than 45 gold to rest? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Um. Crap. Oh. 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 Oh.
Uh, no, Gildy, get out of here with that. How will you attempt to convince the court of your innocence? I'm going to debate. Jason McGrizzle, you've been found not guilty by this court. You're free to go. Okay. <laughs> what just happened, dude? I got falsely accused of vagrancy. I, my mind's been blown. I can't find this man. I don't, I don't know where he lives. You know what? To hell with it. I got arrested for nothing. I'm going to beat up this door. Is the... Ah, crap. No, I'll, I'll kill you. Oh, I got no health. <laughs> I'll surrender. Uh, not guilty. I will lie. This court finds you guilty of your crime. You are to be banished from the Fox and Gnome Pub never to return. Wait, what? Oh, well, when in Rome. Okay. <laughs> what is it? I don't know, dude. I got no idea. So is someone in here since the door was locked and it's nighttime? Maybe. All all this for forty five <laughs> for forty five gold. In hindsight, absolutely not worth it. I have no idea where to go. I, you know what? I don't think this man deserves a shirt. If he's that hard to find, I don't think he deserves it. And we're banished anyway. <laughs> yeah, we should just go somewhere else. This place sucks anyway. Alright, let's try going to a completely different region, because I think we've burnt our bridge <laughs> in that region. Go to the Alakia Desert. Uh, Bangra Where was Uranus? Here we go, let's go to Uranus. And we'll go to a random town. Kirkville. That sounds lovely. Let's go to Kirkville. You are entering Kirkville. Um, oh, okay. It is a place. Ooh, much different from the other one. The heck is going on over there? Okay, put your weapon away. They don't look friendly, I gotta be honest. Though I think they're just stuck in each other. Hey! I appear to have freed you. Um, tell me about the region. Oh dear god. Do you know I uh, like what yeah uh, Mage's Guild. I think they have one in Midage. Where the hell is Midage? You know actually, do you know about a general store? Ask around some more friends. Someone's bound to know. What about the guard? Are you friendly? Do you want to get out of the way, the guard lady? Uh, general stores. The countess's equipment. How are you, mate? I need to find the countess's equipment. Do I? Go north? No, east? No, the countess's equipment is west of here. You son of a bitch. I'm gonna go west, but I feel like uh, I'm gonna walk out into the wilderness and die. That's what I think. The size of this bloody horse. My word. And yes, I am tempted to try and attack the horse. But I'd rather just... Alright, calm down, calm down, calm down. You heard me say it. Oh, hang on. A page steps forward saying, Letter for you, Jason McGrizzle. I hand you a note. Okay. That's not, that's not how we look at notes. How do we look at notes, actually? Now that I think about it. Right, let's keep going west then. Apparently we have... Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's right there. That's right, we did find it and I got distracted. 30 shelves cobbled together out of the scrap lumber hold the shop's wares. The items are sound of bug store, but a little more than that. <laughs> this piece of music <laughs> is becoming hilarious to me. <laughs> Just the way it kicks in. What are you doing there, fella? What are you doing? He's dancing. Uh, let's talk. Well, I need to sell stuff. Yeah, no, let's not talk. Right. I gotta, I gotta sell some crap. Is this, is this what I'm selling to him? I think so. Wait, don't I have any armor to sell? Am I wearing all of it? Really? Maybe he doesn't buy armor because he's just a general store man? I do not know. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, sell. Enough of this endless dickering. You are obviously in great need. Normally I would pay far less, but for you I'll offer 518 gold. No. Listen, I will offer you the absolute maximum I can without losing my shirt. Here's 518 gold. Take it and tell all your friends you cheated me. No. Not bad, not bad. I'll give you the... <laughs> I give most people less, but for you, 518 gold. That's my absolute best offer. No. Can we haggle? I feel like this is me haggling. Okay, he's not offering more. I don't know how to haggle, but you probably can. You've probably got to, like, charm him, right? 
Why would I help a complete stranger, especially one with your reputation? Excuse me? I traveled a very long way away from where I was beating up guards. You should not know about my reputation. Or he's maybe just mad that I was haggling with him. It's very possible. Well, I'll tell you what, in that case then, let's find a town where I can get rid of most of our stuff. that Because we, we're carrying a lot of armor and things. So we've got no space. Rayford sounds like the place. Hopefully they don't hate me here. A red-faced courier startles you with a cry of letter for Jason McGrizzle. Hey, that must be you. Here, take this. Gotta go. Other deliveries to be made. Yes, but I don't know how to read the letters. Use? Ah! Oh, of course it's the use button. Alright. I sent you a letter weeks ago. Right, so this is the first one we got, I think. I only hope it caught up with you. If this one crosses your path after you have visited me on your way to see me in the Buckingford Manor, please do not take offense. As I mentioned in the previous letter, I am the Emperor's agent in Dagford, and it is imperative that I speak with you. I have extended my stay at the Dwarf and Rascal in Buckingford Manor for two more weeks. Of course, there is the possibility that you have intentionally snubbed me and... Oh, crap. <laughs> Shirked your duty to the Emperor. Hope that this is not the case. You failed to arrive. We'll be forced to assume that you are a traitor to his Imperial Majesty, Euro Septim the Seventh. Oh, dear. So it sounds like I... This was the first letter. Oh, yeah, they're both from the same person. She's getting impatient that I haven't responded. Lady, I couldn't figure out how to read your message until now. <laughs> I've heard various to see and fit the worst. Now I've heard you're alive and well, I would like the opportunity to meet with you and discuss. Okay, so where do we need to go? I, I get it, the manor, but like, do we know where that is? The Dwarf and Rascal in the Buckingford Manor of Daggerfall. Crap. She's already been there two weeks. Right. The Dwarf and Rascal in the Buckingford Manor. Let's try and find that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot this was a thing. <gasps> Yes! Yes! Oh, thank God there's a search function. I might be late, though. <laughs> it might have been two weeks. I need to know where the dwarf and rascal is. I doubt this mushroom's gonna talk to me. I just saw a person disappear inside the tree. I gotta ask someone. You. You look like a well-educated lass on the local... You're not a lass. That's awkward. Uh, the dwarf and rascal. Well, try the dwarf and rascal. Right. Uh, it's south of here, unless I'm mistaken. Thank you. You better be right, or I'll come back and kill you, if the game lets me. Hey, look, there's your twin. Dwarf and Rascal. Dwarf and Rascal. There's a sign over there. That could be it. What about... Well, no, he didn't mark it on map. It's got to be this. This looks like it. Just try this and hope it is it. Oh, God, it's laggy in here. Oh, it is them. He's done it. Jason, thank you for responding to my letter. Oh, Jason. Uh, I am Lady Brizienna. Let me bring you to date on affairs. The specter of King Lysandus haunts the streets of Daggerfall at night. Trying to communicate with him is futile. He would occasionally moan the word vengeance. Vengeance! But that is the only coherent word I have ever heard him utter. If you are ever in Daggerfall, that's where I am now, lady. What are you doing? Do not wander the city at night. You are certain to be attacked by his legion of ghosts. It would be probably more gainful to investigate those who might have wronged Lysandus to find the cause behind his torment. I do not know if the royal family of Daggerfall or another person or persons merit more suspicion. The major powers of the Bay Sentinel, Wayrest, and Daggerfall may be good places to start. The major powers of the Bay Sentinel, Wayrest, and Daggerfall. Right, so Bay, Sentinel, and Wayrest are different regions, I guess, just besides Daggerfall. But we are in Daggerfall, so we should look for the major powers here. In the matter of the letter, the Emperor's agent says that he was unable to hand deliver it to the Queen because of the war. He hired a courier who supposedly delivered the letter in his stead. We do not even know the name of this courier. Obviously, there is little information of use. But it would be worthwhile to see whether the letter arrived at Castle Daggerfall at night. How you decide to do this is entirely your decision. I will contact you if any new information should surface. I'm leaving Daggerfall soon. My position has here... My position has here has been compromised. Good lord spelling. And my life is in danger. Do not mention my name in court. Well, I guess grammar not spelling. It is more likely to hurt than help. Good luck and watch your back, Jason. Right. I guess let's try talking to, yeah, the barkeep. Oh my god, he's a chunky monkey. Let's talk 
Do you know anything about the chick I just met with? I'm afraid I can't help you. She's right across from me. Right, so we need to know about the major powers uh, of Daggerfall. I have no idea where we would start to do that. I have a house? I guess I can tell you Jason's house is northeast of here, unless I'm mistaken. Yo, we got a house? Alright, we'll check that out next episode, and if any of you are, who are familiar with Daggerfall could sort of point me in the right direction, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much once again for the support in the first episode. Likes, comments, subscribers, all that jazz, it really does help. Like I say, that is why the video hit the recommend list. So if you want to do that again for this episode, I would appreciate the hell out of it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to the patrons. I genuinely could not do this without the support of the patrons. Please do not arrest me, sir. All right. Patreon.com slash LP is linked in the video description. Thank you so much to them. Their names this month are... Ah! Try Magnus, Malcolm Davies, Aaron Bridges, Thomas Solly, Conrad82, Lime Green, Daggy, Israfel, Meep Sheep, I Am Scarecrow, 666, Edith W, Justin Alexander, Nickerin, Trent123, Bloodpire, Rexborough, Mawina 9097, Luna Parker, Black Wolf A994, Miss Justice 83, George Blackwell, Shadow Sephiroth 666, Billy Nine, KP Shadow Squirrel, Loot Smoke Soldier, Jonathan Eriks, Philip Rep, Dr. Papa Penguin, and Hitbox. Thank you so much everyone for watching. And I will see you next time.